Hi dear students, we are starting to new chapter equations and inequalities and the first topic is solving linear equations. So we are going to learn how to solve the linear equations but I'm going to accept that we are we don't know anything about the subject. So with respect to that one I'm going to start from the basic things. Okay, let if I start with the basic things firstly uh, here the value it is written x here unknown value or it is called our variable and that's also unknown value which should be known for us unknown and we should make it clear and we should find the value we should make it known so uh, unknown value we need to find the uh, value and we are going to use the bad mass rule here inverse bad mass rule in linear operation if you remember brackets exponent division and multiplication they are together addition and subtraction they were together in order of operation in order of operation first the bracket coming then exponent then division multiplication addition and subtraction in order of order of operation so for the solving linear equation we should apply the rules negatively so it should be firstly uh, for solving linear equation solving linear equation linear equation firstly firstly we have to do addition subtraction we should solve addition subtraction problem then we should solve division multiplication problem then exponent problem then bracket problems we can solve so for the solving linear equation we are going to use this methods again okay here um, order of operation yes and here we need to remember also this one all the operations for solving linear equation i'm talking for all operations we have inverse operations also firstly the uh, operation if it is addition addition the operation is operation is addition then the inverse of it inverse of it subtraction it should be i'm going to explain what i mean in the question so for the subtraction the inverse operation it's going to be addition for multiplication the inverse operation it's going to be division for division the inverse operation it's going to be uh, for division the inverse operation it's going to be multiplication okay what i mean let me explain here now there is unknown term this is divided by 2 minus 4 is equal to 12 if we see only this part the operations around this is division and this operation is subtraction so which operation comes firstly of course when we are doing order of operation i mean when we are calculating the values we should do with respect to bad mass rule but when you are solving the question firstly you should solve the subtraction problem so what i mean here x over 2 minus 4 when it's equal to 12 firstly you need to get rid of minus 4 so this is subtraction here when you send to other side which is subtraction here subtraction here when you send to other side it becomes addition and this minus 4 goes to other side like x over 2 is equal to 12 plus 4 it becomes okay so if it is equal to 12 plus 4 x over 2 is going to be equal to 16 and the operation between x and 2 is division and the inverse of division it's going to be multiplication so when you send to other side it's going to be multiplied or let's make it multiplication and x is going to be equal to 2 times 16 x is equal to 32 is the answer of the question if you want to check the solution also here you can do that one 32 divided by 2 i'm rewriting this part because it is x over 2 minus 4 so it's equal to 32 minus 
32 over 2 minus 4, which is equal to 16 minus 4. 32 over 2 is 16. 16 minus 4 is equal to 12. It's going to be so. When we check, we are going to get the same result. So the operation, uh, our solution is true. So 32 is the solution of the question. Okay, let's continue with this type of exercise because this is second type of exercises. This it is different than this one. So first we are going to combine the like terms here. Combine the like terms terms on the same side. This means variables on one side and the other side variables on the one side and the uh, numbers or constants or coefficients not coefficients sorry constants on the other side it's going to be variable in one side constant in the other side it's going to be let me rewrite this equation 3 times 2x plus 5 is equal to 2 times 2x minus 7 uh, plus 25 Firstly, uh, I need to get rid of the parentheses here. I need to get rid of the parentheses to do operation. Uh, there shouldn't be any parentheses. That's why I'm going to get rid of the parentheses. 3 times 2x, which is equal to 6x. 3 times, 3 times 5, it's equal to 15. 6x plus 15, it's going to be the answer. Okay, then it's equal to 2 times 2x is equal to 4x. 2 times 2x is equal to 4x. 2 times minus 7, it's going to be equal to 2 times minus 7, it's going to be equal to minus 14, and the, uh, uh, the last term is minus, and plus 25, it's going to be. So, uh, here, uh, we for solving the question, you should combine the, I mean, you should collect the unknown terms to one side, like 6x and 4x, these are unknown terms, and they should be on the same side, and 6x uh, minus 4x it's going to be why it is minus 4x because when you send to 4x to the other side where here invisible plus here normally when you send to other side it becomes uh, minus 4 but it is not written here uh, because it is the first term okay minus 4 then uh, the 15 it goes to other side minus 14 plus 25 and minus 15 it becomes plus 15 when it goes to the other side it becomes minus 15 then i'm going to solve the linear equation here 6x minus 4x it's going to be equal to 2x minus 14 plus 25 it's going to be equal to 11 11 minus 5 it's going to be equal to minus 4. now i get uh, rid of the extra terms here only there are two terms now 2x and minus 4. On this side we have 2x and x operation between 2 and x is equal to multiplication or I can write like this. This is multiplication sign. So I'm going to send the 2 to the other side with division because 2 here it is in multiplication form. 2 times it goes to the other side x becomes minus 4 over 2. But uh, there is no need to make it uh, minus 2 because the term is, I mean, minus 4 over uh, 2, it's equal to minus 2. It's going to be, and the value of x is equal to minus 2. Huh. This is minus 2 because you are dividing minus 4 over. Here, do not confuse this part. This is minus 4 over 2, which is equal to minus 2, and x is equal to minus 2, you are going to find. The result is negative because of minus 4. And when you send the 2 to the other side, it cannot be negative because it is uh, it become negative or positive only by addition and subtraction. The operation here, it's going to be multiplication, pardon, the inverse operation, it's going to be division. Multiplication inverse is division. Okay, let's continue with the last type of question and we are going to finish our lesson with this question. Here, this type of questions, for solving this type of questions, first you need to get rid of the, this denominator. So, the denominators should be sent to other side. This denominators means division. When they go to other side, you should multiply them. So, 5 times x plus 1, it's going to be 5 times x plus 
x plus 1 it's going to be and the other side it's going to be equal to 4 times x plus 8. Actually I'm going to use time sign like this because I don't want you to mix with the x sign instead of times I'm going to use dot. Okay, uh, 4 times x plus 8 it's going to be and 5 times x we are going to apply the distribution rule now to solve to bring into linear form 5x is 5x plus 5 is equal to 4x plus 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Now this 4x goes to the other side and it becomes 5x minus 4x and the 5 it goes to the other side and it becomes 32 minus 5 and 5x minus 4x is equal to 1x it's equal to 32 minus 5 which is 27 and uh, x is equal to 27 and as you are going to see 27 is the solution of the question going to be.